Hi yo guys, this is Pickhead10 and welcome to your first Roblox Lua tutorial. And in this tutorial we probably won't be going into that much of the Lua, but I know a lot of you don't know how to open Studio, you don't know how to insert a script, and we'll be doing that in all in the tutorial. I'll uh, probably go into a bit of the basics of the command line scripting and uh, maybe a bit of the hello world script. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do if you don't already, well you probably do because you're watching this tutorial, is to have Roblox installed. Now you go roblox.com slash install, which did it for me, would you look at that? And click install and it will install Roblox Judo and Roblox. And the thing we're going to be using this time is uh, Roblox Judo. To, do, to get to that you go start all programs and Roblox, click Roblox Studio. Now you need Roblox Studio if you're going to be building anything well. You can build without it, but all the good builders do th use this. It's Talamon's tool of choice. You cannot build well without it. If you if you've if you've built a good place without using Roblox Studio and it's actually good, then you're amazing. And I don't know how you did it. Uh, first thing I'm going to need is a base plate. If you, you can edit your own place, just going to click that button to get a new place. Right, you click the toolbox icon here and scroll down on this bar to... Well, actually you don't need to scroll down, it's just there. It used to be plates, but they've changed it out, and that was ages ago. And I'm still not used to it because I never get used to things. I'm just just make the place bigger with that resize tool up there, if you don't know already. And just make it massive so you don't accidentally spawn off the edge and you're going to anchor it with this anchor tool and lock it with this tool uh, I'm not explaining this much because we're not going to be doing much of this in the tutorial it's just getting the place ready this is more building not scripting as you can probably tell and just going to insert a spawn on this bar we go click bricks and scroll down to game objects and insert a neutral spawn so it doesn't come with a team and it's just grey put it there so we can test and I think I'm going to lock that as well so I don't accidentally move it, destroy the place and die which I usually do and right now the scripting to insert a script you need to click on workspace you just click on the thing you want to insert it into If you for now we'll go workspace and insert object script now I have no idea why they changed it It's it, oh well, I haven't explained this to you actually they it used to be print hello world like that. Whoops, forgot the quotes. I don't know why they changed it. To, probably to um, have less characters, but I like it this way better. You, if if you ever see some someone forget the brackets, doesn't matter. Don't go complaining that it's wrong and that script is crashing because of it. Because it's not just cricket to type, but I never use it because I like the old way. Right, what what does print hello world do? I don't know why it's always hello world. People always use that as the first script in all languages, just printing hello world. I would much like it to be I like eating because I do. If we run play, oh, have if you haven't got explorer properties and output and this command bar up, then click insert. No, don't click insert. View explorer view properties view output then you click view toolbars command and that will come up the prompt command prompt and the, uh, we'll be going into that later this tutorial prob yes yeah, so this tutorial will be doing that what does print i like eating do print is a built-in function of roblox in every script's environment that is complicated and you don't need to know that yet print all scripts can use it you don't need to say anything other than print with empty brackets and unlimited arguments which means you can put a comma and then send something else like yes and then as it will come with like a tab space in the middle of it or you can say something random <sighs> go away now and then you dot dot and say something else and join up with each other but we're going to that sh that's called strings by the way we're going to that strings class later and for now we'll be testing what this does All right you press play and see here it comes up I like eating yes and then the random the gif thing you may ask what is the point in that 
it does you can't see it in game and you can't get it other than if you're building it's to you the point of it is when you're actually scripting if you your script breaks and doesn't show an error the reason why we'll you can probably find out by just putting loads of prints all over the thing and seeing where it gets up to and where it stops and what it repeats and what it does so it's actually quite useful but this tutorial won't be going much into the actual scripting we're, ju we're just doing this as I said oh yeah command command prompt this you can type scripts into it and when I start doing this I'm spinning around the camera I'm not doing that the command prompt you can type, you can insert scripts into it, and you don't have to play for the scripts to run in the command prompt. So, say you type print hello world, oh, I like eating, whatever. Print hello world, and it comes up straight away, just shows you just what you entered and shows that. Now, a lot of you guys still, I know you want to go home to probably watching mini game scripts. Sorry about, sorry about that, guys, I needed to take a break. First thing I, I need to tell you about Lua is you're not going to be able to do stuff easily. It will take you once you, especially once you get on the harder tutorials, it won't be easy. It will take it's taken me about a year to get where I am. I'm now a wiki writer. If you l practice hard, then you will become good. But you have to watch all the tutorials. You can't just skip to the end and see how to make something. You have to watch every single one. So don't be tempted to skip to the end. If you do. I'll, I don't know what I'll do, but it's bad. I had to take another break, sorry about that. Also, another thing you need to know is that there is no, you don't know how to script a mini game script and nothing else. You don't know how to script, I ca you can't say, I can script an admin command script, but nothing else, because you can't. You either know how to script well, or you don't. You can't know how to script one script, there isn't one script. Can't have a mini game script but and but not know how to script anything else you know how to script in general ah, I'm moving the screen around again I have no idea why I hope it's not annoying because I always do it just when I'm bored I'm not saying I'm bored now because this tutorial is awesome of course we can do those scripts in the command line if you want to know a more interesting one they will also work like making the part base invisible and I'll go into what this script does in another tutorial and I had I spelled it wrong and I spelled it wrong again. Oh, I forgot to change the part. Workspace dot part, not set the workspace transparency. There we go. It's become transparent. Now we'll go later into what this does in another tutorial. But for now, I'll see you next tutorial. And don't don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you then.